Alrighty, it's time for another 6.5 Creedmoor video. So my 6.5 PRC right now doesn't have an optic on it because I sent that back to Athlon. So the only other guns I have are the Grindel and the Creedmoor. And we are shooting the 140 grain ELD match, a new bullet that I haven't shot on the channel yet. And that's going to be a lot better in the Creedmoor, so that's what we're going to use. We're going to use Hotchkin H4350, my Nosler new brass, and Winchester large rifle primers. We're going to start out at 40. 0.3 grains and work our way up to 41.5. This follows Hornady's load data. They list an overall length of 2.80. These hit the lands of my rifle at about 2.840, and so we're going to load them pretty much at Hornady's recommended 2.80. Now we're going to use 4 tenth increments and work our way up. Hopefully we get some good groups. My gun shot the 140 grain Votel hollow point really well, so I'm expecting good things from the ELD match. But let's get out on the range and let's see how they shoot. Alrighty, we're out here on the range. This is my 24 inch Savage 110 Tactical chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It's got an Athlon 6 to 24 optic on it. We're shooting down 100 yards. The gun is cool. It's about 75 degrees out, a little bit of breeze off the left, but a nice day to shoot. Getting velocity through our lab radar. So, this is a new bullet to me. Never shot the 140 ELD. Hopefully, they shoot really well. Let's find out here. All right, so that's not a terrible start. Let's see what our velocity looked like. Kind of looked like it might have been all over the place. Eh, not too bad. 2690 feet per second with 14.9 SD. All right, let's move on up. Let's take a look at our velocity there. All right, so that one we were 2708 average with the 11.4 SD. All right, let's move on up. All right, we might have a slight ejector spin on that one there. All right, maybe this one's gonna try to group there. That piece of brass doesn't look as bad as the one before. Alright, probably the best group of the day. Kind of some stringing going on down there. Let's take a look at our velocity. I think that one looked fairly consistent. Yeah, that one we were 27.30 average with a 7.5 SD. Alright, so again, there was a one piece of brass there that had just a little bit of a shiny spot on it. I think we're going to go ahead and shoot this last uh, load here. Alright, last group. All right, the bolt on that one was a little sticky. Let's see what our brass looks like. All right, that piece of brass looks fine. We did get a velocity jump. Let's see what this next one does here. All right, that piece of brass wasn't near as sticky. We do have a little swipe on that one. The group's looking good. Let's see if it holds together for this last shot. All right. It did hold together. Let's take a look at our velocity there. All right, so that group there, we had an average of 27.65 with an SD of 7.9. And from where I'm seeing, the group looks really good. Um, this gun continues to surprise me with how good it shoots. Um, I don't know why, because it continues to shoot really well. Uh, now here in the near future, we're going to come back through with some five shotters with some of these groups that have been awesome with three shotters just to confirm them. But I know what we're going to get. We're going to get some good groups in that video as well. All right, let's get over the target and let's check it out. Alrighty, so we're back on the bench here, taking a look at our target. The first group at 40.3 grains, shot 2690 feet per second, 14.9 SD, 
in a 0.73 inch groove. Moving on to 40.7 grains, we shot 2708 feet per second, 11.4 SD in a 0.6 inch inch group. Moving on to 41.1, we shot 2730 feet per second, 7.5 SD in a 0.55 inch group. And our last group of the day at 41.5 grains, we shot 2765 feet per second, 7.9 SD in a 0.29 inch group. Looks like we were in a point of impact shift where we, the point of impact was kind of raising up going on through there and it looks like maybe that's why we had some of that vertical dispersion and that tightened up with our highest load today. Now taking a look at our brass, there are a couple real light ejector swipes that you can probably see in a the picture there. So we're probably near the top end. So probably wouldn't push up any higher with our loads. Our velocity is actually pretty good too at 2765. So overall pretty good group. Now I think in the next video with the 6.5 Creedmoor, um, we're gonna go through the last few videos and our best loads that were three shop groups, we're gonna go ahead and load them up for five shop groups and see how those do. I'm excited to see if we can get a new group under 0.3. I think the best group I've shot with a gun so far on the channel is something like 0 0.40, maybe just a little bit more than that. Thank you guys for subscribing, and if you're interested in supporting the channel, you can go over and jump over on my Patreon. The uh, link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.